What is so important in a video that you barely notice? I would say transitions. You tell me once in the comments. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to create a zoom in and a zoom out transition. Both here in a Premiere Pro without using any third party plugins. Welcome to Smarter Graphics. My name is George. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. That helps me out a lot. Now, without further talking, let's jump to the tutorial. As you can see, I've already added the clips to the timeline here. And currently we don't have any transition and we're going to make one. So place the header in between the clips then go to your project space and click on this new item, select adjustment layer, click OK. Then drag this adjustment layer one track above your clips. Then hold your shift and press the left arrow key to move five frames to the left and grab your razor tool and press C and cut your clip uh, or adjustment layer at this point. Then do the same for the right side. So from the center here, hold your shift and press the right arrow key to move five frames to the right. And again, grab your razor tool and cut the adjustment layer here. Then select the selection tool and press V and get rid of those excess parts that we don't need. Just press delete and get rid of them. Now we have an adjustment layer that's 10 frames long. Select the adjustment layer here, Hold your Alt and drag the adjustment layer one track above. So that'll duplicate. Now we have two adjustment layers. Then grab your razor tool once again and cut the bottom adjustment layer in half. Select the selection tool and get rid of the right part of the bottom adjustment layer, just like that. So now we have two adjustment layers, one's the half of the size of the top one. And we're ready to start applying some effects. So go to effects and search for replicate. It'll be under stylize, add the replicate to the bottom adjustment layer. If we move the playhead, we can see that we have four clips now. And here where it says counts in the effects controls, set the count to three whips. And that'll give us nine copies. Then search for the effect mirror. It'll be under distort and add mirror to the bottom adjustment layer. And we'll need to add four copies of mirrors with different settings. So just follow along and you'll be fine. So first mirror, play around with the x-axis to decrease the x-axis. And you, you see a line in this point here, so you know you don't see the rough cut. Then add another mirror, set reflection angle to 90 degrees, and play around with the y-axis. So increase it and, up, and adjust it to this point right here. Another mirror effect, so this time set reflection angle to minus 90 degrees, and here you can play around with Y axis by decreasing it and align it to this point here. Whoops. And the last mirror effect here, set the reflection angle to 180 degrees and just keep dragging the X axis to the left or decreasing it and align this to this point right here. So these are the settings right here and believe it or not but the hardest part of our tutorial is complete so we've got ourselves the bottom adjustment layer ready let's start playing around with the top one go to the effect search for transform it'll be under distort and add transform to the top adjustment layer then scroll in effect controls make sure to uncheck use composition shadow angle because we don't need that and increase or set a shadow angle to 360 that's the maximum amount you can set it and that will give us the maximum amount of motion blur using this effect then go to the start of your adjustment layer of here create a keyframe for scale this will create a keyframe here and move this keyframe to the end of the adjustment layer and then set scale to 300 and if we preview this right now you'll see that our transition already looks kind of all right. As I said, the 360 shadow angle will give you the maximum amount of motion blur here, but you can increase the motion blur by adding an extra effect. So go to effects, search for directional blur, and add this to the top adjustment layer here. Then scroll down, set direction to 90 degrees. Then go to the beginning of your adjustment layer, create a keyframe for blur length, and drag this keyframe to the end of the adjustment layer. Then create another keyframe here. Then move to the cut here in between the clips. And set blur length to say 30. 
Oh, you can just set it higher, so the higher you go, the more blurry the picture looks. So I'll set it to 30, because that looks alright. And now, you can see that this part has been turned red, so that needs rendering. If you press enter, this will render out, and the part will turn green, and that means it's rendered, and it will be as smooth as possible. So by previewing it, you'll see that our animation, or transition, looks better. Now let's create a zoom in transition, which is relatively easier to create compared to zoom out transition. So once again, go to the middle point here, grab the adjustment layer, one track above, and go five frames to the left, make a cut, five frames to the right, make a cut, remove the unnecessary part, go to the middle here, in between the clips, go to effect, search for transform, add the transform effect to the adjustment layer, scroll down in effect controls, Uncheck Use Composition Shutter Angle, set the shutter angle to 360, then at this middle point here, create a keyframe for scale, drag this keyframe to the left all the way, create another keyframe by pressing here, drag this keyframe all the way to the right, and then set scale to 300. And just like that, we've created a zoom in transition. One cool thing you can do to make the animation a bit smoother is to select the left keyframe here, right click, ease out, and select the right keyframe, right click, ease in, select the middle keyframe, right click, and click on Auto Bezier. And now our animation will be a bit smoother. Okay, so that's how you create a zoom in transition. As a last step of our tutorial, let me show you how to save these transitions as a preset, so you don't have to deal with any other keyframes and effects adjusting in your future projects. So you just open up, apply the preset, and you're good to go. Go ahead and select the adjust top adjustment layer for zoom out transition here. Scroll down, select transform, hold your control and select direction of blur. So select both effects, click or right click on any of those and click on save preset. Here, give this preset a name, so I'll call it zoom out top, top for the top adjustment layer. Click OK, then select the bottom adjustment layer, scroll down, and select all of the effects, so you hold your control and select all of them. Then right click, save preset, let's call this zoom out bottom. It's so a bottom for the bottom adjustment layer, click OK. And let's say I'm in a new project here, I've added the clips and there is no transition. So what do you do? You add the adjustment layer, cut it, five frames to the left to the right, just like that. And well, let's duplicate this adjustment layer like that and cut it the bottom one as we did. And now these adjustment layers don't have any presets on them. So let's go to effects, open the presets folder here, and find our presets that we named. So zoom out bottom. I'm gonna grab that and add it to the bottom adjustment layer. I'm gonna grab the zoom out top and apply it to the top adjustment layer. And just like that. We have created a zoom out transition with our saved presets within seconds. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please give this video a like and also consider subscribing because it's free and you can always change your mind later. Thank you so much for watching, keep learning, keep experimenting and I'll see you in the next video.